Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me for another video. It is your host, Crypto Glenn. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate it. You see the chart. Let's get right into it. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day to be a Bitcoin holder as we are currently, I believe, hitting on brand new all time highs at the moment. Great time to be an Ethereum holder as well as a Litecoin holder. You know, Ethereum and Litecoin have really been going on somewhat of a silent run uh, here over the last past week, week and a half. And, you know, obviously not on that list is XRP. It is a terrible, terrible week to be a holder of XRP. Frankly, I don't understand why anyone at this time is still holding XRP. Uh, given what we know and everything that's going on with the lawsuit with the SEC, there have been a tremendous amount of cryptocurrency exchanges that have gone ahead and either suspended trading or completely removed XRP altogether from the last time I uh, put out a video. I will say this. While I'm not here to give you financial advice, I would never give you financial advice. I just don't understand. Listen, I said it on the last video. There is nothing wrong with taking money off the table. You can still be a fan of a project. As far as I'm concerned, these projects, unless they have drastically, directly altered, positively affected your life, you don't owe these, these projects anything. You don't owe these coins anything. There is something to be said about being a wise investor and understanding when it's time to get out of a project because it's, 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 decreasing your net worth and with xrp and with ripple with everything that they have going on now with the sec looking to sue ripple releasing the complaint letter as to why they want to sue ripple brad garling house as well as the other gentleman um yeah now it's just not a good time to be an xrp man and it, it it pains me when i hear people that are still trying to and you see it on tiktok you see it on youtube you read it on twitter when people try to give you the reason as to why that they're staying in, well, we, you know, we just feel that something's going on. I remember, give me a minute. I remember it was this video right here. It's one of my better performing videos and rightfully so. And I'm actually getting a lot of attention to this video now because things that I said about the XRP community, XRP influencers back then. Um, and this was two years ago, just something that I had noticed within the community and, and the amount of challenge selling hopium and, and just very lofty claims. XRP, in fact, does have a very cult like community, and that is very problematic. Think about it. If you're someone who watches the digital asset investor channel, Alex Cobb, your net worth has gone down drastically. Your net worth is directly affected by who you choose to get information from. This is I tell you guys all the time. Be careful of where you're getting your information from. When things are good, I'm going to tell you, hey, things are good. This looks promising. But when things are bad, I'm going to tell you like this doesn't look good. Think about removing some coin off the table. These guys members of the XRP community are, are suggesting that they're buying more, that they're buying the dip. And when I look at this chart, well, not the Bitcoin chart because Bitcoin's doing its thing. But when I look at this chart, the only thing I see here is a gang of people that are catching falling knives. You see this dump here, then you see this giant green doge candle here, and you're like, oh, it's going to come back. Let me buy in. And then it takes another dump on you. Listen, do you understand what the SEC is really accusing XRP of? If not, let me give you a brief synopsis. In short, what they're saying is why you and I and everyone else who are buying XRP at the market value, XRP, I'm sorry, Ripple was going to these banks and they were cutting sweetheart deals to give them XRP at a 30% discount. In turn, the banks would take that, dump the price on you after Ripple came out and said, hey, we've got this partnership with so-and-so. Then people get excited, they go and they buy XRP, they pump the price up and then the institutions they would dump on you. If if you can legitimately know that and have no negative feeling to the company that did that to you, by all means, invest where you're going to invest, do what you're going to do. Me personally, I just can't see it. My loyalty in this space is to make money. The technology, sure, that's cool, but I'm not even going to sit here. I'm not going to waste your guys' time. I'm interested in making money. I'm interested in making life-changing money. And right now, 
We cannot do that with an asset that is tanking. I mean, you could. There's ways to do it, but we're talking about value investing. Not with this. This chart looks terrible. It looks awful. Price is currently sitting below the valuation, the value add area. You're going to start to see more more selling pressure to the downside. I in my 10 cents. 10 cents target where I see this thing going. If we hit 10 cents, we'll probably hit 5. The first court case is to be held in February. That lets me know at least two months away, this isn't going to be over in the next 10 to 15 minutes. And we talked about that. The other thing is, I don't like how I don't see people in the XRP community actually talking about the allegations. They're just kind of, they're, they're giving you very subjective arguments. Now is the time to be thinking very, very objective. I'll tell you what else the time is for. Now is the time for us to actually be looking at when a, when a, a project says that they have a partnership, what's the scope of that partnership? And is that partnership actually utilizing the resource, the asset that so many of us are invested in? When I look at VeChain, no, I don't think BMW is actually going to be using VeChain or VeChain Thor. They may be on a blockchain. They may have indeed have a partnership, but I don't know how that partnership directly equates to price appreciation for the token or the coin that everyone is going to these exchanges buying. And that needs to be the question that people are asking from that from this point forward. Two positives from this entire situation. One, the cryptocurrency space is definitely going to get regulatory clarity. And two, if you're smart, if you're objective, if you're not emotional with your investing, you have been able to use this as a learning experience to learn how to ask the difficult questions, to check commitments, to check the GitHubs, to see what exactly is going on. I did a video about this, how to actually analyze a project. It's on the YouTube channel. Go check it out. But I see so many people who are just like, yep, I'm going to keep buying the dip and Yep, you know, the reason why they're all choosing all these exchanges or choosing to to delist or halt trading at the same exact time. There's got to be a reason. I'm going to I'm like, if you if you know it's going down, why would you not just get out, save yourself some money and buy in when the dust settles and we've actually found a bottom to this thing? People are so irrational with their investing. I, I legitimately don't understand. It has been terrible. It's been a terrible week for XRP. Bittrex has come out and said, we are actually going to get rid of XRP payers starting January 15th. Coinbase has come out and said, we are going to halt trading on January 19th. We've had a few smaller players come out and say that they're actually halting trading. When I first heard that news of smaller players, I really wasn't concerned about it because these were exchanges that didn't even have $100,000 worth of uh, volume in terms of XRP, you know, transactions and trading going on in their exchange. But when the bigger fish, when the bigger exchanges exchanges started to actually get on board, that became something that, you know, that's important. You need to start paying attention to that because here's the deal. The fewer exchanges that have active trading for XRP on their website, or on their exchange, the less liquidity there is. So you can be holding XRP right now and let's say it does moonshot. But if the liquidity isn't there to actually pull out your investment when you say sell, you're essentially holding a worthless token. And if it is deemed a security and none of these exchanges are in are actually able to hold securities or sell securities like the rumor that was going around that that Coinbase was able to sell securities, which turned out not to be true. If it is deemed a security, all the exchanges selling it are going to be in very, very big trouble. This is why you are having so many exchanges come out and saying we're halting trading or we're just getting rid of it altogether until the dust settles. And in my own opinion, in my own non-professional opinion, I think that's probably the best course of action to take. To actually sit out, wait, get out while you can, recoup whatever money you can from this thing and wait to see what the verdict is for however long it takes. Because I'll tell you what, money, the opportunity, it, it, the opportunity cost right now of leaving your money tied in a ripple is not in a positive light. 
in a sense it will decay because there's price appreciation happening from other projects right now. So there's better places to park your investment money right now, wait for the dust to settle with this whole Ripple XRP SEC thing and push back in later. And if you're investing in the right projects with the valuations going up, you'll have more money to buy an allocation of XRP in the future if an opportunity presents itself. But just letting your money sit there, ride and die, uh uh, doesn't make any sense to me. I've been invested in XRP you know, for a long time now, I've gone through multiple pumps, multiple dumps. And at this point, you know, when, when I when this one came down the line, I said, nope, I'm not taking this ride with XRP. I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. I've taken the content creators who talk about XRP before the task to say, you guys need to stop selling hopium and just level with your audience. And they won't do it. And I think that's very, very telling. And if you're one of these people where you tune in every day to watch someone's content and, you know, just because they're selling you hopium and feel good, I think you strongly need to, you know, consider finding other voices to pay attention to in this space. Grayscale. Everybody knows Grayscale. Grayscale is one, one of the formidable institutions when it comes to buying Bitcoin and cryptocurrency for their own stake. MicroStrategy is another. These guys, they represent the institutional money we were talking about in 2017, 2018, 2019. They're not coming into this space to lose money. And they have actually reportedly, allegedly reportedly say we are actually dumping our stakes in XRP and XLM. Why? Because I think after this is all said and done, you are going to start to see this become the fate of a lot of altcoins. Because they don't pass the Howey test. Many people got invested in it because they're expecting a return. And that return is dependent upon how the company actually performs and, you know, the partnerships that they can actually forge and how convincing they can be when telling other companies, yeah, you should invest in our project. You should use our project. This is not going to end well for a lot of altcoins. This is why myself and other YouTubers who tend to be very objective have been telling people to be mindful of where exactly it is that they have their money. To be paying attention as to who it is that you get your information from. Part of the win of many exchanges actually delisting or halting trading grayscale dumped. 9.18 million dollars of XRP holdings on December 29th. That was literally just yesterday. Bitrix came out today and said that XRP, you know, they're delisting it from their exchange and it, XRP's price plummeted some 60% today. You guys do not owe Ripple, you don't owe XRP anything. Get your money out while you can. Let's go over the timeline. December 24th, breaking. When it comes to delisting XRP, Coinbase is currently considering its, their options. And I told you guys, so I'm going to say it. If any bit of Ripple's impropriety jeopardizes Coinbase for making money due to their, you know, from their IPO, XRP is out of there. And you can't see it now. People asked me for my source. I gave them the source. Right there. It's a little article on Forbes. You can pause and read it if you want to. Followed up on December 24th. XRP Ripple News. Breaking. So this is more along, along the lines of Coinbase is definitely going to delist XRP. If the SEC is going after Ripple, they will definitely come after Lincoln. Honestly, I think they will. I don't need, I can hear people typing in the chat right now. What, you know, it's not just kidding. I'm like, think about it. Why did you invest in Chainlink? IPOs. Not IPOs, I'm sorry. DeFi. The DeFi gets shut down. Chainlink is useless. This is a search I found on Google. Coindesk popped up. Market wrap. 
Coinbase and talks to delist XRP amid IPO and SEC Ripple lawsuit. And at that point, it had been listed 30 minutes ago. And again, this is on December 24th. Found another article. Ripple Partner MoneyGram says it never use XRP or RippleNet. XRP needs to be named Yo-Yo because it just keeps going up and down in price. XRP is dying a slow death. Digital asset investor. I only have until January 19th. It's on like Donkey Kong. I told you guys, beware of people where you're getting your information from. Digital asset investor sounds like a guy who's trying to convince himself and others there's nothing to worry about. There's definitely something to worry about. Me tweeting about XRP being delisted or having some significant ramifications as to what's going on right now on due to coin, you know, on Coinbase on December 24th, some two days before Coinbase actually came out and officially said we are going to delist it or halt trading before other exchanges came out and said, yep, we're going to delist it or we're going to halt trading a whole two days. You want to know what I see coming down the pipeline next? I'll tell you. If Binance USA or Binance in general come out and say we are halting trading, we're delisting it, forget about it. All eyes are on Binance right now. Binance literally may be the last thing holding the price of XRP up. Because if they come out and they say we're halting trading or we're removing it from Binance US, where else are you going to sell it? Where else are you going to sell it? There won't be any liquidity. The fewer exchanges there are that have it, the less liquidity there is. Let's see what I'm getting tagged to here. Do, 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 do. Is it one sense is still possible? Yes, one sense is still possible. And Tech Leakers just liking one of my tweets. Guys, listen, if you haven't followed me already, you can definitely follow me on Twitter at Crypto Glenn. You see it right there at Crypto Glenn. Love to chat with you, start a dialogue with you, get your thoughts, views, and opinions on things as to how everything's going right now. Is there a chance Ripple could make it out of this unscathed? Is there a chance XRP could actually turn out to be just fine? Sure, absolutely. The only thing I'm telling you to do here is just minimize your risk and be cautious of who it is that you're listening to and where you're getting your information from. I've been in XRP. I used to have a lot of XRP. A lot. A lot. A lot. And I see this as an opportunity to say, you know what? We're just going to pay attention to what's going on. We're not going to put any capital at risk. We're actually going to preserve capital. We're going to do this the smart way, the intelligent way. And we're going to wait for the dust to settle. And in the meantime, we're going to take money and we're going to put it into other projects that have a lot of headroom to go like look at this we were talking about uh, ethereum ethereum still has at least a 90 percent run before it gets to all-time highs and i suspect it will hit every bit of that if not more so yeah it's gonna be okay but guys you got to pay attention to where it is that you're putting your money And get familiar with what exactly the SEC is accusing Ripple of. And be very cautious of anyone who is selling you XRP hopium that's not being objective and talking about it. Because to me, it says that they probably have something to hide. Be cautious of where you put your money. Focus on your money. And remember, it's so important so important not to believe the hype don't fall for what they're saying on tiktok don't fall for what they're saying on youtube what you read on twitter you are in charge you are responsible for your own money get to reading that sec brief all right i will see you guys in the next one peace